Hi all, today we prove uh, theorem 22. Uh, in theorem 22, we have to show that, first we have to show that uh, these, these V and W are vector spaces over field F and T be a, a linear transformation from V into W. So, uh, this T from uh, V into W and the, we first we prove that the null space of T transpose so null space of T transpose is same as uh, the annihilator of that means uh, annihilator of range of T so that is RT so we need to prove that N T transpose equal to RT annihilator so uh, first we write what uh, first we understand uh, what is this NT if we have uh, T transpose uh, T transpose is a function from uh, W star to uh, V star. So this uh, is a linear transformation, and the null space of T transpose. So this is that is the subspace of W star. Okay, and we have uh, V is here. This is our V, and this is our W. Then uh, T is from V to W. Then range of t, range of t, range of t is always a uh, this is a range of t. Range of t is always a subspace of W. N t transpose is a subspace of W star, and uh, this range of t is a subspace of W. Then range of t trans, uh, the range of t annihilator, R t annihilator. What is R t annihilator? This consists of uh, all elements of uh, the dual of this W. That means G belongs to uh, set of all G belongs to W star such that such that this G this G uh, sends every element of R T to zero. That means G of any beta equal to zero beta belongs to range T. So this is the definition of uh, uh, annihilator of R of T, and uh, you can write it as set of all. Uh, G belongs to W star such that uh, G of any B, 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 beta belongs to range of T that beta takes the form T alpha so G of T alpha equal to 0 for all alpha belongs to V so this is the definition of R of T annihilator and what is N of T transpose uh, we know that this T transpose is a function from W star to V star so this consists of set of all G belongs to W star again such that T transpose of G equal to 0. What do what you mean by this equal to 0? That means identically equal to 0. So this consists of set of all uh, G belongs to W star such that this G, T transpose G is nothing but uh, G composition T that is G of T alpha equal to 0 for all alpha belongs to V. Okay, so obviously these two uh, uh, sets are same. Okay, T transpose G uh, identically equal to 0 means G of T of alpha equal to 0 and from these two uh, this is equation number 1 and this is uh, equation number 2. We can fr uh, from 1 and 2 1 and 2 implies that range of t annihilator uh, equal to uh, null space of t transpose. The other way you can uh, prove this uh, equality of two sets using the inclusion. Uh, if you choose an, an element alpha from uh, element g from this, then you can get g uh, beta is equal to zero for beta belongs r of t. Then consequently g of t of alpha equal to zero then that implies that G belongs to null space of T transpose. Consequently, uh, conversely, you can take a, an arbitrary element of this set, G belongs to W star with this condition, that is G composition T is identically zero, that means G composition T of alpha equal to zero for all alpha belongs to V, because G composition T is a function from uh, this V to F, so this is zero, then consequently, then consequently you can get this G, is, G satisfies this condition, then G should be an element of this. So you can easily get the equality of these two sets. So that is a, that's a trivial thing. Uh, what we have proved here is true for uh, an arbitrary uh, vector space. Uh, vector spaces W and W. Uh, 
that means uh, uh, this is sort of true for uh, any uh, vector space irrespective of their uh, dimensions uh, even uh, whether it is finite dimensional or infinite dimension but if you uh, restrict our uh, vector spaces to finite dimension with the dimension of v is equal to n and dimension of uh, w is equal to m then you can get the other two statements in the theorem 12 uh, that is uh, rank t transpose rank t transpose is same as uh, rank t uh, rank t and range of t transpose is annihilator of the null space of t okay so we can easily prove these two statements so first we prove the first statement rank t transpose equal to rank t so uh, rank t transpose is defined as uh, dimension of range of t transpose and range of t transpose is uh, denoted by this symbol uh, range of t transpose then uh, we need to prove that this is same as uh, dimension of range of t so first you assume uh, the dimension of uh, range of t or rank t uh, is equal to some r then uh, we have uh, if w is a subspace then dimension of w uh, or, or if you have uh, any subspace w or uh, some uh, s is a subspace of v we have dimension of s plus dimension of s s annihilator is dimension of v so this is in the case when we have a subspace of v so if you uh, apply this for the uh, the subspace uh, t uh, rank of uh, uh, range, range of uh, t transpose or range of t you can get uh, this range of t is always a subspace of w then you can say that dimension of range of t plus dimension of range of t annihilator is dimension of w so that is equal to m so we start uh, uh, this result we have a dimension of uh, range of t annihilator is m minus r so this is the immediate consequence of this dimension of v and dimension of w now we know that uh, this dimension of uh, we can apply the rank nullity theorem here then uh, dimension of rank t transpose that is dimension of range of t transpose plus uh, nullity of nullity of that means the dimension of dimension of uh, null space of t transpose that will give the dimension of the domain of the t transpose the dimension of the domain of uh, 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 t transpose is same as dimension of w star that is same as dimension of w that is equal to m okay so from this you can write a uh, dimension of uh, the range of t transpose plus the dimension of null space of t transpose we have already seen that in any case null space of t transpose is same as uh, the uh, annihilator of uh, range of t so this is same as dimension of the range of t annihilator that is equal to uh, dimension of w star that is equal to dimension of w that is equal to m but from this you can write the dimension of uh, the range of t transpose is equal to m minus uh, this can be written as dimension of uh, null space this, this value is m minus r so we can substitute uh, this dimension of r, uh, range of t annihilator as m minus r so that is equal to minus m minus r that will give r what is r? r is the dimension of uh, range of t so this give, gives uh, a rank of t transpose the same as a rank of t so this is true for uh, finite dimensional vector spaces uh, next we will show that the second result uh, the range of t transpose range of t transpose uh, is same as the uh, null space of annihilator of the null space of t so that is null space of t annihilator so we will prove this result uh, by proving that this range of uh, range t transpose this range t transpose is contained in uh, null space of t uh, annihilator and uh, this uh, these two uh, subspaces 
uh, have the same dimension that is range uh, t transpose and the null space annihilator of uh, this uh, null space of t as the uh, same dimension okay so we'll first we'll prove uh, this inclusion and we'll prove the dimensions are same then you can easily get this result okay so we'll prove this uh, first we choose uh, 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 this range of t transpose this t transpose is a function from linear transformation from uh, w star to v star then uh, this range of t, uh, t transpose is a subspace of v star so i choose f belongs to this range of uh, t transpose okay so that implies uh, what is the meaning of this uh, this f can be written as some uh, t transpose of g uh, for some g belongs to w star so this implies uh, we will prove that this f is a member of uh, anti uh, annihilator that means uh, if we choose any uh, alpha belongs to uh, uh, how will you prove an element is an element of anti uh, annihilator that means uh, that annihilate every element of this entity so we we choose uh, alpha from the null space of uh, t uh, we know that this implies a t alpha is always zero so that implies uh, this uh, t, uh, th this g composition uh, t alpha is equal to zero uh, that implies uh, g this is g composition t of alpha equal to zero that implies a t transpose g of alpha equal to uh, or you can interpret it as uh, that is uh, t transpose uh, g uh, equal to uh, zero uh, for all alpha belongs to uh, the null space of t and consequently we can get this t transpose of g is nothing but f f of alpha equal to zero this is of alpha f of alpha equal to zero for all alpha belongs to nt this means uh, this alpha belongs to nt implies uh, f alpha equal to zero for all alpha belongs to nt that means this f is a member of nt annihilator annihilator of the null space so this implies that f belongs to range of t a transpose implies f belongs to null space annihilator of null space of t so consequently we have this uh, inclusion and next we will prove this uh, range of t transpose is same as uh, uh, the dimension of the range of t transpose is dimension of the annihilator of the null space of t so that is because uh, we know that uh, this uh, dimension of Null space of T annihilator uh, is same as uh, the, the n minus the dimension of null space of T. Okay, because uh, the dimension of null uh, annihilator of null space of T plus dimension of null space of T will give n the dimension of V. Okay, these are subspaces of the uh, V. Uh, this empty is a subspace of V. Then we can write this one n minus dimension of uh, null space of T. That means n minus nullity is the rank t that means dimension of range of t dimension of uh, range of t so that is same as uh, we know that range t is same as range t uh, transpose we have already proved in the first case so this is same as the dimension of uh, uh, range of t transpose uh, consequently uh, that is a uh, dimension of uh, or this is the uh, this is the uh, required uh, dimensions dimension of null annihilator of null space of t transpose same as the dimension of uh, range of t transpose so this would imply that uh, we can say that this is also true now uh, that implies uh, from these two statements you can get range of t uh, transpose is same as uh, the annihilator of the null space of t 